Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. It's been a while since I actually took you guys to the whole process of actually upgrading a character, choosing a specific character and show you actually my build. Now, I've been saving materials and reforges for about 2 or 3 months since I actually done my last project. And I have a lot of them laying around and I was saving to purchase the gears for Martian Manhunter because it's been a while since they were actually into the store. And now that they are finally back, I've purchased them and I jumped all the way into upgrading my gears with the materials that I had left uh, after two or three months of grinding campaigns, solo raids um, and all of the game modes and normal raids. I had about 3 million materials, I upgraded one gear piece and then I thought about filming the whole process so that was the second uh, gear piece. All the way to level 70 with 270k materials per gear. So I'm st I still have left. Uh, more than enough to upgrade another character to level 70 gears, but I think I'm going to save them for um, the Batman who laughs if I'm going to get him. And I have a, way above 1000 reforges um, to spend them on Martian Manhunter and turn this character into a beast. Uh, because I saw some, some of my friends using this character and I think he's quite fun and it's quite a fun project um, to build as a damage dealer. Uh, the stats right now are total garbage, they are all over the place, but I'm going to try and fix them. And I also have um, a solo raid video with this guy after I tweaked him a, a little bit. Now, the, the good thing was that I made up my mind two months ago that I want to build Martian Manhunter and I upgraded the special abilities, I made him level 70, I tried to optimize the talents a bit. And right now he's not that far from the final build. Uh, I just have to optimize the gears, uh, focus more on talents, but uh, the rest it's already done. The abilities are uh, at level 70, so I don't need to invest that much time into him. And this was my fight uh, in solo raids. Uh, I think this is tier 3. Tier 3 Rise of Krypton, I used um, a level 10 beta club on him. I used the level 5 war suit and the level 7 um, bullet, I believe. Yeah, the kryptonite bullets, which are kind of bad, but I don't have anything uh, better than them at, at that specific moment. So I tried the same strategy as I would have um, done with uh, another legendary character, with Darkseid, for example, with Collector World Superman. But on this one, I didn't want to do it all the way. I didn't want to actually. Uh, use Martian Manhunter uh, and only rely on the beta club damage because if I was to play the normal strategy that I that I've done before with with this specific team the fight would have been over in a matter of seconds and I wouldn't even have enjoyed the fight properly and test Martian Manhunter properly because it would have been just enough for me to actually do one single combo hit with the beta club when I have 5 darkness and 10 stacks from Brainiac but I wanted specifically for this one to try and um, inflict as many debuffs on the enemy as possible and the reason for that is Martian Manhunter's passive that he gains plus 5 hits per fast attack uh, plus 1 per each negative effect so I need to inflict 4 or 5 negative effects on the opponent now, yeah, I, I didn't equip the Kryptonite Bullets for this one, I equipped the Sword of Sin just to inflict two debuffs, Darkness and Burning at the same time, and Beta Club, uh, that damage was another one, and Beta Club, Luck Portion was another one, but Martian Man Hunter can also apply debuffs, like he has a debuff on the Special 1 and Special 2 that prevents opponents from tagging out, whatever, uh, the bosses in Solar Race cannot tag in or out, but the debuff still applies, so as you can see I'm doing 5 hits per fast attack and I only did one darkness and the reason for that was because I wanted to enjoy <laughs> I wanted to not have this fight in a matter of seconds and see the 5 hits per fast attack as you can see this is this is just, uh, it makes me proud it makes me so proud to use Martian Man Hunter because I waited for for months now to build this character and to use him in raids 
And now that I'm finally able to do that, it just... It warms my heart, man, to see him uh, perform the way he does. And uh, it was only two stacks of darkness. Now, I could I could have not put beta on Martian Manhunter. And I think that's what I'm going to do next. Because I, I, want, I only want to rely on darkness uh, to get five stacks of darkness to get ten stacks from the Brainiac Special 1. And only rely on the damage that he is able to pull from the basic attacks. Only rely on those five hits to to do massive damage because Beta Club actually is uh, I don't know how to put it uh, in perspective. It's kind of a no-brainer. Obviously, it melts the boss, but I want to see his potential without the Beta Club. Obviously, Beta Club is going to provide that base attack, but at least it's not doing 20, 40, 50, 18 million damage per per that thing because the fight it's it's over, over before you know it, just because of the Beta Club. And this was 400 mil. Now I would have tried on a, on a harder boss, but I don't have this moment. I don't have a harder boss right now. I'm waiting to reach higher tiers to get bosses with one billion health to be able to test Martian Manhunter properly. But for now, I think in the next fight, I wanna unequip the Beta and put Beta on I don't know, on Brainiac or something like that. Because uh, I want to test Martian Manhunter properly, but for what it is, for only two stacks of darkness, I saw him pulling like 1 million damage per basic hit. And 1 million damage per basic hit, if I think about it, that's that's like 3, 4, 4 million damage per combo string if you take into consideration his, his uh, fast attack hits. So, bro... I don't know, but that that actually satisfies me because it's a character that can, that can pull actually four or five million damage per basic hit just because of his combos. So it's so satisfying to watch. Uh, I hope it's as satisfying for you to watch as it is for me. And now this project is far from perfect, far from being done. But I'll keep you posted because it's been a while since I actually done this and take you guys to the whole process of actually. Uh, building a character, max him out, and after he's maxed out, we take him in, into raids and see the maximum potential of that character. Because many of you think that Martian Manhunter should only be a combo builder for Banshee or whatever. But if you like Martian Manhunter, if you like his playstyle, his overall look, his overall basics, uh, now that he's fixed and works as proper, uh, works properly. Because right now his uh, taggings cannot fail, his jump attacks cannot fail as it was before. They fixed Deathstroke, Raven and Martian Manhunter in one single update. So now he functions like a normal character. So if you like him, you can actually build him as a damage dealer and just go to town, have fun. Because that's all about the Ninjas 2 Mobile. It doesn't matter if you are a whale, a hacker, whatever. Uh, you can build as many characters as you want, you can brag with your roster as many times as you want but if you are not having fun if you are only building characters either to score score high rates either to brag about your damage you are doing something wrong you need to enjoy this game for what it is um, and you need to find shortcuts uh, to to actually find the joy in this game now for me at least uh, having fun in this game means building unknown characters in unknown specific ways like uh, characters that people think that they are only good as tanks, as combo builders, but I build them as damage dealers and I have fun with them because they perform better and you can actually use them and be invested in the fight. Uh, that at least brings me fun into this game. Now, I don't know what, what is fun for you into this game, but I highly doubt it. It is just bragging or doing high damage raids because that shouldn't be the main focus for you into this game it should be just to have fun build your favorite um be, build your favorite uh dc characters and have fun with them if you like batman build batman have fun with him if you like martian manhunter build him and don't worry about what any other guys are saying that he's not good as a damage dealer. if you want to build him as a damage dealer just go to town build him and not worry about what other people are saying because there is not one optimal way to build a character obviously they would perform uh, better in one way than uh, than the other but nobody is um, 
is only in your account so you will be the judge of what to build on your own specific account just like I do with mine I don't worry about other people what other people are saying I just build whatever I feel like it that was the video for today guys I'll keep you posted uh, about Martian Manhunter's build and I hope you enjoyed this video take care peace